नमस्कार आई एम हरप्रीत कौर एंड आई वेलकम ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स पेरेंट्स एंड टीचर्स टू आर स्पेशल सेशन ऑन परीक्षा पे चर्चा वेल देयर इज अ फेमस कोट व्हिच गोज एज बिफोर एनीथिंग एल्स प्रिपरेशन इज द की टू सक्सेस एंड व्हेन इट कम्स टू प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर एग्जामिनेशंस स्ट्रेस इज बाउंड टू हैपन वेल इट अफेक्ट्स स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ ऑल द एजेस इट्स अ कॉमन फिनोमिनन एंड यू नो व्हाट स्ट्रेस एंड एंजाइटी is completely normal and today we will learn how to handle this stress and anxiety and at the same time staying motivated and enthusiastic for the upcoming examinations in short today we will focus on becoming exam warriors to give an insight on how to handle the stress and how to become exam warriors we are joined by miss shweta lakhera Ma'am is senior consultant from Manodarpan Cell NCERT New Delhi. Welcome to the session ma'am. Namaskar and thank you. And we are also joined by Ms Nidhi Bhardwaj. Ma'am is a TGT and teacher counselor from Kendriya Vidyalaya. Welcome to the session ma'am. Thank you so much ma'am. And now let's start this question and answer round. My first question is for Shweta ma'am. Ma'am, we all know that during exam times, stress is bound to happen. What do you think is the reason behind the same? The reason behind anxiety that students experience due to exam is varied for uh, each and every individual. But there is one thing which is very common, and that is the pressure associated with the uh, exam. and the pressure to perform well in exam which is also a result of the expectations that we have as a society or as parents or teachers with you know the result or the outcome of exam uh one thing is very important to understand here as students that exam are a part of the learning process and they are not the end result or the end goal the end goal is learning and the you know knowledge that we build as individuals so it is important to understand that and also to keep in mind that our national education policy 2020 it also views examination and uh, education as a whole in a very holistic view so the policy talks about how exams are not you know uh, where we memorize and just uh, write our answers but uh, learning is about the holistic aspect of learning and understanding an a uh, concept at the same time the policy also looks at education in a very holistic view and assessment in a holistic view in terms of self evaluation so it also talks about evaluating ourselves as uh, individuals and not basing our criteria of our ability or our uh, capabilities on examinations as a whole so what you've mentioned uh, you know in the beginning of uh, the session that you know we should become exam warriors keeping that in view i want to quote uh, something said by our honorable prime minister that exams are an opportunity for us and we should try to become you know exam warriors and attempt exam as warriors and not warriors Yes so we need to become exam warriors and not exam warriors so nidhi ma'am now you have to guide us and let us know how can students actually avoid anxiety and stress before and during the examinations yeah sure thank you so much actually uh, like harpreet ma'am you have said it earlier also that preparation is the key so the key uh, is planning planning has to be done beforehand we need to have goals and how kind uh, what kind of goals we need to have we need to have smart goals like your goals should be very specific s stands for specific m they should be measurable a attainable r stands for realistic and t time bound so your goals need to be specific measurable attainable realistic and time bound for example if i say that within this half an hour i want to do five questions of exercise 9.3 of my maths book then this is a, a smart goal because here i have mentioned the time i have mentioned the specific questions which are going to take up so in this way we need to plan out our goals and day by day day wise we can plan our goals also Uh, a special place is held by our timetable what kind of timetable we have prepared for ourselves 
like in the school we have a specific timetable to be followed per day we can have a timetable for our home as well like everybody's concentration level uh, span of concentration is different attention span according to that we can just uh, allot maybe 20 minutes for a particular uh, uh, content and then we can take five minute break and then we can go again so in this way we need to allot proper time for eating sleeping and other activities also need to be there so that uh, it makes you remain active throughout the day as well like uh, you can include yoga asanas dancing and uh, you can go for a walk as well you need to take care of your eating habits also eat uh, fresh fruits nuts seeds almonds and uh, home cooked food just avoid junk food these are some of the things which need to be taken care of before the exams now uh, talking about during the exams we find some students they just become blank when they enter the exam hall and when they get the question paper they are totally blank now what is to be done uh, during this time you can uh, practice relaxation techniques like taking very deep breaths and then breathing out through your mouth uh, when you practice it for four to five times you will immediately find that you are feeling quite relaxed and quite calm so these are some of the ways thank you well these are very important ways that you have discussed and now shweta ma'am i would like to ask you about some of the habits that need to be inculcated in the students you know especially when they are preparing for the examinations i think uh, the most important uh, habit or uh, the thought that one needs to develop is that of self reliance or atmanirbharta we need to take up the responsibility and ownership of our examination as our own individual responsibility as a student i should not be uh, dependent on my parents telling me to study or my teachers telling me that you know uh, exams are approaching and you have to study so that ownership of examination and dependence on my own self uh, taking responsibility of the examination on my own is the first and foremost thing that as a student we need to do because the examinations are for us and they are our you know a uh, way of uh, self reflection also in terms of what we've done what our strengths are and also growing in you know areas that need uh, development so that is the first thing along with this ma'am had uh, mentioned that you know uh, certain things like having a timetable following a specific routine that is also very important because during examinations you know we need to manage our time very judiciously so it's important that we have specific time divided for everything we do uh on uh, along with it there are other things also that one needs to uh, practice like effective study skills like making notes summarizing whatever we are reading so that when we go back and revise we have you know we don't have to go through the entire content again but we can just go through that part that we've missed or maybe you know uh, the part that we need to revise uh, uh along with this there are other things that students can practice like um, collective study is a good way we can uh, talk with our uh, peers about what they have learned try to you know understand their perspective on a topic and share our thoughts so that when we teach somebody or when we discuss something with somebody we learn in a better way so these are some of the habits that we can develop along with it i think but the foremost and most important thing is to take ownership of examination as our own personal responsibility and work towards them So Nidhi ma'am now I have a question for you. We have often seen that students prepare well for the examinations and they still have some of the concerns. Now let's talk about how these concerns can be addressed effectively for their academic success. Yeah, we have many times seen that the students they succumb to the pressure and uh, they start feeling very anxious all of a sudden. So now in order to uh, make the most of your uh, time what you need to do is those 15 minutes which you get before the exams as reading time you can make the most of it just start going through the whole paper uh, examination paper and put tick marks the uh, on the questions which you know very well and then you can make a plan which questions you are going to do beforehand so that you are uh, well prepared for it now uh, 
there are uh, there is one more thing which I would like to tell you that uh, many of the students they come running to me uh, just after the exams and they start telling that ma'am I have used four supplementary sheets so definitely you know I am going to score uh, quite uh, good. So uh, this is not uh, important how many uh, answer sheets you are filling it up. It is more important to focus on the quality what you are writing. There are certain keywords in a particular question, there are certain keywords and you need to uh, cover all those keywords, make a flow chart or a diagram wherever it is required like in mathematics whenever you are writing step wise you need to mention the reason and uh, formulae which you have used. So this is also very very important that you are going to write it properly, precisely. It is not that you are going to just write down and beat around the bush. So that is also important. <laughs> yes, it's all about staying confident. You have prepared well and forget about the rest. And now Shweta ma'am, uh, in relation to this only, let's talk about the mental health and well-being of the students, especially immediately before and during the examinations. Yes, so um, like we're talking about the anxiety that students face and because of this anxiety and stress that is surrounded uh, with or associated with examinations, often student uh, you know disrupt their everyday routine so you study for longer hours you don't take sleep adequately but that is something that we need to avoid because when we have a fresh uh, you know um, we wake up fresh we are in a fresh state of mind we are able to retain whatever we have learned for longer periods so it is important that uh, we take a proper seven or eight hours of sleep we have our everyday routine in the way it was and you know not disrupt it like have our foods on time, have a nutritious meal or uh, you know whatever we eat on a daily basis on time. Take breaks, take adequate sleep, uh, focus well on our studies but also not neglect other uh, you know aspects of, of everyday routine. So that is also important to see. Uh, along with this uh, in, to take care of our mental health and well-being we also need to stay connected with you know others. It's not like just because my exams are going on I will shut myself in a room and not get out of it. No, it is important that you spend some time with your family, your friends, you know, take short breaks, go for a walk out in the nature, just try to relax a little with all these things. And uh, one important thing I would like to also add here in terms of mental health and well-being is that if you are feeling that, you know, you need to reach out to somebody, definitely do that. Whoever that trusted adult is, if it's your parent or your teacher who are, or your friend also, if you are feeling stressed, it's okay and it's important that you reach out to somebody and you talk to them and share your concerns. Absolutely. Taking care of those little things and sharing your concerns is an important thing when it comes to preparing for your examinations and busting that stress. And now uh, Nidhi ma'am, you are a teacher yourself. So I have this question uh, very relevant for you, for all of us. Uh, to be precise, that how can teachers create a safe environment and, you know, a um, very positive environment for the students when it comes to examinations? Yeah, I know uh, as a teacher, this, we have faced this over the years that students, they get stressed up. And But uh, the teachers, you know, when you consult your teachers, they have those 15 to 20 questions handy for you, which keep coming in the exams. Like in the board exams, we have got those sample papers. So teachers can just facilitate this. They can motivate and encourage the students so that they are uh, uh, performing well and they, are st they stay motivated throughout. So teachers have played their part and now it's time for the parents. Shweta ma'am, how do you think they can actually create a conducive environment at home for their students, uh, for their kids actually, who are students during the examination? I think family and parents play a very important role uh, during the examination time. Otherwise also family and home environment is very important for children but especially during examination it's important that you know that conducive safe environment is available for a student to study so that they can focus on examination and not uh, get distracted by other things. So first and foremost it's very important that parents try to create that safe space where the child is not feeling pressured to perform you know. Yes. Uh, the first thing that parents can do is remove the expectation pressure that you know uh, this academic expectations that parents have that you have to score 90% or 100%. I think the 
environment should be such that a child should feel motivated to attend the exam take it as something you know they are excited to go up for so the moment you release that expectation pressure from the child they are very happy and eager but the moment that pressure comes in you know to perform and uh, achieve a desired amount of marks that pressure is something that makes us feel anxious that you know what if i'm not able to score the percentage my parents are expecting me to score so as parents it's important that you remove that pressure and celebrate exams as an important part of life as a process of learning not focusing on how much you score uh and also reinforcing it again and again to your child that you know you are valuable and you yeah. are loved and cared for irrespective of how much you score so that is one thing that parents can do um other than that overall home environment you know uh, parents have a very important role to play in it that child gets the adequate time to study you know and uh, like i talked about adequate and you know nutritious meals their uh, everyday routine is balanced and you know whatever they are doing on an everyday basis is all also followed mm. during examinations so parents can also motivate children to do that you know um equip them to do that provide them with meals on time you know help them support them wherever it is required also creating that space where your child can come to you and talk to you and express that you know if they are not feeling well or if uh, you know if they are feeling scared uh, you should be able to create that space where they are you know able to come to you reach out to you that okay you know uh, mummy i am not able to uh, you know study for examination i want you know to support uh, i want your support so your child should be able to do that Wh- uh, how that can be achieved is through open communication when you let your child know that you are present for them that you are there for them so i think that in itself in- is enough and that in itself is very supporting just one thing more i wanted to add in terms of what teachers can do that we had just addressed is that as teachers sometimes unconsciously we add a pressure to the student by saying that you know you are a very good student you will score well i know i know that you are going to score well so that sentence in itself is a lot of pressure i know you are going to do well is okay but i know you are going to score well creates a pressure on the student so it's important that you know as teachers or as parents we are very mindful of our communication and we you know promote the child to attend the examination to give their best uh, output over there and not worry about the result or the outcome so that is what i wanted to say here exactly so teachers parents please please keep the stress at bay you know each child is unique and i'm sure that you want to motivate them and you do not want to pull them down expectations are good but over expectations are completely unhealthy and that's what we have discussed in this entire conversation of ours and now before we wrap up this session over here it's time for the extremely important part concluding remarks so nidhi ma'am let's start with you uh, please give us some concluding remarks about you know how to basically understand the fact that exams are a part of celebration it's not something that we should be stressed about and what exactly we can do very quickly yeah set realistic goals compete with yourself and come up with flying colors Best great great and now shweta ma'am uh just to add to it i think uh, our uh, you know self evaluation is the best uh, evaluation so not uh, placing our understanding of our own capabilities on an examination but self reflecting on uh, what we are what our strengths and capabilities are is the best way to uh, attempt our examination So students parents and teachers keep the stress at bay exams are just a part and parcel of life take them as some sort of celebrations and if you want to know more about how to avoid the stress how to avoid the anxiety don't forget to watch the live telecast of Pariksha Pe Charcha straight from Bharat Mandapam Pragati Maidan New Delhi yes on 29th of January 2024 Honorable Prime Minister of India Shri Narendra Modi will address the students parents and teachers across the nation. He will share certain tips and will guide us on how to sail through this difficult time and this can be made really really easier for all of us. So don't forget to watch Pariksha Pe Charcha. Yes, the live telecast. And right now it's a wrap. This is me Harpreet Kaur. taking leave of you and wishing you all the very best for the upcoming examinations thank you namaskar
Anlaşıldı.